let's uh, test, uh, start today's uh, lab okay uh, the it, it is just an introduction to 8086 uh, uh, emulator right uh, this is the kind of uh, 8086 uh, processor motherboard which is available in our lab right so uh, it has got an 8086 processor here if you see uh, there are uh, some uh, rams available okay wherein you load the program there are also some eproms available wherein some permanent uh, uh, programs also can be uh, programmed like if you are doing for a project or uh, things like that in a real life applications you will not put the you will not write the code on a ram because the moment you switch off the power supply and uh, that would vanish right and it is a non-volatile uh, it's a volatile memory so uh, generally there will be a eprom also wherein you can dump the code and it will be available there so when you are doing a real life projects obviously you know, eproms will be used okay uh, in the lab generally what we do is uh, uh, we do it only on the ram so that uh, because it is a limited space it has got only uh, one mb uh, total memory so that is why in the lab uh, it is this uh, programmed in such a way that whatever you dump the code that goes into the RAM and once you uh, it's uh, so power supply switched off and uh, that is no more available there and the memory is free for the next student next batch okay so this is the kind of uh, board which uh, we have so uh, it will have a clock generator uh, uh, 8086 works on 5 megahertz uh, uh, frequency right so a uh, 5 megahertz frequency if it's working generally on the board you will have a crystal of 15 megahertz and then you scale it down to 5 megahertz using a divider so this is the uh, crystal you can see it's written here it's a crystal there will be an, an uh, aluminium small uh, uh, thing which you can see you, you can google it uh, you can, to see how an crystal looks like right uh, so then you scale down generally so it's written uh, 6.14 megahertz but generally uh, in the board what we have in the lab it is a 15 megahertz crystal uh, scale down uh, divided by 3 it gives 5 megahertz crystal so that gives uh, so crystals are generally uh, what you say uh, when you it's a piezoelectric crystal when you apply a voltage it gives very very accurate uh, clocks okay so uh, it is uh, fairly uh, uh, sensitive to power supply variations and things like that so you get a very stable clock so generally crystals are used in the circuits to generate uh, clocks also uh, like we take a higher frequency and scale it down because even if there is a small error okay that gets uh, uh, minimized by doing instead of having a 1 megahertz crystal and again uh, no, multiplying it by 5 okay uh, so even multiplication is a uh, uh, slightly different uh, no, difficult task but uh, scaling down you can simply use d flip-flops right uh, to scale down the frequency last, last time we studied in the digital design you can use a t flip-flop toggle flip-flop uh, or a d flip-flop to scale down the frequency so having a higher crystal and scaling down has got multiple advantages one the errors will be minimized and also the scaling down of frequency is pretty easy okay so you will have have a crystal uh, and you will have input output ports and uh, how to communicate uh, uh, with this board so there will be few connectors you will see power supply connector is there so these are the kind of things which are there in the board now uh, how do we uh, program this 8086 okay so that's the first step is to write an assembly language in a text editor and it could be notepad plus also whatever we write in a text editor uh, generally in a notepad and save it as a dot asm file dot asm means it's an assembly language file and this dot asm file in the second step can be uh, read directly by there are some uh, compilers okay uh, compilers are uh, there are two uh, mostly widely used compilers the first one is uh, masm which is known as microsoft macro assembler or tasm turbo assembler this is by borland this is by a, a different company okay so what these compilers do they check the syntax in the asm they will uh, simulate you can do some kind of simulation and see the results in this compiler and then they will generate the dot uh, obj file okay object file okay it is a machine language file right so it will generate the, 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 the this uh, file for specific to 8086 okay uh, so each uh, uh, processor has got its own machine language right uh, so like suppose in the assembly language i will write move a b that means the contents of 
b are to be moved to uh, a it is always the destination followed by source so when i write move a b what happens is whatever is the contents of register b will be shifted to contents of b right so so that is an uh, uh, what uh, assembly language okay uh, what we do is uh, in the rom okay this move a b corresponds to some binary bits okay generally hexadecimal uh, we generally write in hexadecimal but but the com the hardware actually writes in 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 binary form right only bits can be stored in zero and one form so move a b corresponds to some hexadecimal number okay so that uh, particular hexadecimal number uh, you know move the instruction move from a uh, uh, from b to a this entire together could is, is one is kind of in say uh, 16 uh, six, uh, 16 bit binary data which can be represented as in in a hexadecimal number so that is very very specific to 8086 okay each processor will have its own kind of uh, compiler so this particular compilers will give the hexadecimal thing only for the eighty uh, eighty six. okay so it uh, so we generate that objective code and then once the uh, that code is generated that file is generated we need to dump it into eighty eighty six. so eighty eighty six kit is provided by many manufacturers right so uh, there'll be uh, so each manufacturer will provide a driver software to communicate with the uh, motherboard right so how, where to dump this code into which memory location right so there will be some uh, driver software also so uh, but since this is going to be an online course uh, we have to uh, what we are going to do is we are going to use an 8086 emulator so what this software does is it enables us to write the assembly code it uh, allows us to do some syntax check uh, it uh, it will allow us to see okay uh, how the data is being stored in the ram at and at which location those kind of things we'll be able to uh, visualize okay uh, so this is the best what we can do on an online mode okay since we don't have access to the uh, actual hardware okay so you can download uh, either from the net 8086 simulator or from my web page also uh, i have shared this link right microprocessors in which uh, all the uh, lecture notes and ppts for the labs and for the tutorials are there uh, you will find a zip file on uh, 8086 emulator also there so you can download that it's a very very small file it will get you know, uh, installed it will ask for some key you can skip that for time being subsequently we'll uh, see about the key okay so without the key also it would work fine okay uh, now uh, before I give you the task uh, actually because th in theory classes we have not yet covered uh, 8086 properly uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time trying to explain you the entire 8086 block diagram I'm just giving you a little bit uh, uh, information which is which will be good enough for you to do the lab uh, these are th these architectures are very very important uh, especially uh, uh, this uh, how the rams roms are connected and all uh, this i would be covering in my theory classes on tuesday uh, mon uh, saturday little bit but uh, maybe uh, tuesday's class tuesday uh, it might be an uh, 26 might be an holiday so uh, uh, in thursday's class okay uh, very very it's going to be very important class which uh, the information you may not find in your uh, test books but that will be very critical for you to understand the operation of 8086 okay so uh, uh, in case you are free uh, please join thursday's class okay so coming back to uh, 8086 architecture so this is 8086 uh, uh, ic it has got uh, several uh, pins so it has got an uh, address bus right and the address bus is uh, 20 bit okay so uh, 20 bit means 2 to the power of 20 different uh, address locations uh, can be placed on this address bus and accordingly uh, 1 mega uh, mem memory cells can be accessed right so there is a different options uh, in this particular scheme at either you can have two rams each of 500 and and uh, 16 kb right so that they uh, amount to be uh, they amount uh, to 1 mb uh, these uh, why uh, two rams uh, because and uh, each ram the word bit will be 8 bit like 8086 can either handle 8 bit or 16 bit right both 
so uh, so that is why the ram is organized as 8 bit uh, 8 bit rams and uh, so you can have uh, either select the uh, uh, left hand bit uh, ram or the right hand uh, ram or you can access both together for an uh, 16 bit but how that is done it is pretty interesting thing that we'll discuss in the theory class so essentially you just have to understand here that uh, there is an address bus uh, and with which various uh, rams and roms can be accessed the total memory which can be accessed is 1 mb okay here i have connected two rams of 256 and two roms here for this particular example that is how mo it is done in most of the trainer kits okay there will be ram as well as uh, uh, rom also Bo both will be there okay so uh, they will uh, just remember there will be uh, 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 20 uh, the address lines are 20 right and the address lines and the data lines are on the same pin so it is demultiplexed so how it is demultiplexed and those things again i'll cover it in the theory class okay so uh, also 8086 has got few uh, registers right so uh, those are all uh, 16 bit registers known as ax bx cx and dx okay and similarly there are uh, these registers also so uh, these re ax means this entire register but this is 16 bit register you can also access uh, these uh, 8 bit registers also this ax is made up of two uh, 8 bit registers ah and al so uh, individually also we can access these registers and do uh, arithmetic operations with these uh, 8 bit registers also uh, also with the 16 bit right so whenever we specify ax plus bx it will add the 16 bit uh, na, ax and bx if i write al plus bl then it will add only the contents of these two uh, registers, 8-bit registers. So, uh, you know, it, it's very uh, flexible. Either you can use 8-bit uh, uh, commands or you can use 16-bit you know, uh, codes also. So, uh, this is a very, uh, that way very powerful uh, microprocessor. Okay, so uh, these data and all will slowly reach uh, study in the theory, right? so uh, uh, apart from these registers okay there there is a, some bus control logic there is an uh, register known as an ip instruction pointer okay uh, which tells the bus control logic okay uh, from where to fetch the code okay so instruction pointer just uh, gives the address of the uh, address location from where the codes are, be, are being uh, fetched there will be an uh, alu there is a flag register okay there is a flag whenever we do an arithmetic operation the the flags will be an uh, set okay so uh, i think i okay i am not in this is the uh, flag register so whenever we do any arithmetic operation we add we subtract we multiply okay whenever it, the flag the from the result of that arithmetic operation the flags will be set okay so there are uh, there is one carry flag here okay so if if the uh, operation what we do generates a carry the carry flag will be set to one similarly if the result is um, uh, even parity it will be set to uh, this, this uh, bit will be set to one so these are the carry flags okay so you need to uh, know this that these are the flags and each arithmetic operation uh, so what are written in white are not used okay whatever is written in red they are the uh, uh, specific bits which uh, uh, like bit this 6 this bit is z that means 0 if the result is 0 this will be set to 1 okay this is carry so you need to just remember about the carry and 0 flag uh, for this particular lab okay so uh, so this is the sample code which we are going to write in the emulator okay and, and see how it's going to work okay so here we are going to move uh, so uh, even the instructions are not been covered in the class it will be covered probably next to next week okay but for the labs uh, lab and uh, they are pretty uh, simple things to understand so uh, maybe parallelly you can uh, see the textbook or google and get familiarized with some of the instructions uh, of 8086 okay but I'll, I'll tell you the basic instructions and how they work okay uh, so move cx okay this is the first sample code which i am going to do it uh, and demonstrate it to you 
right and subsequent task you will do it yourself okay move uh, cx 0 0 0 so that means uh, cx cx means it, it, it's the entire uh, c register c uh, com comprising of ch and cl if i go back here cx means this is the full uh, here okay it is a 16 when I, whenever i write move cx it means it's a six it is going to take ch and cl together as an uh, 16 bit register and it is going to load 0000, 0, 0, 0 into uh, into the cx when i write move x 1 2 3 4 it is going to uh, move uh, this data 1 2 3 4 into ax and then i am going to write move bx then it is going to uh, put this hexadecimal uh, data into bx and then i am going to write add ax then it is going to add the contents of ax with contents of bx and the result is going to be stored in ax while and then whatever was the previous value of bx that will be retained here okay and then i write the uh, halt uh, yeah is it clear to all of you this much uh, is this small program uh, clear to you anybody has got any doubts uh, you can just tell you know, if it's uh, clear in the chat or so that i can move forward or you can switch on your mic okay yeah okay see uh, the uh, orange uh, 100 means okay uh, i'll come to this value okay actually because uh, orange means the instruction pointer will be loaded with uh, 100 right so the memory location uh, we said it is going to be a 20 bit uh, 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 data right but in an, uh, re a register when we uh, when we are going to address an uh, register uh, uh, ad when uh, we, the, the registers are only 16 bit right so when whenever we have to uh, say uh, give a direction you know, for uh, address so uh, what about the next four bits so generally what is done is okay uh, there there are various modes of addressing which we will do in the theory class so uh, suppose in the ds it is in a uh, seven and uh, some data is there so whatever data is there in uh, in ds uh, into 10 plus uh, uh, whatever is uh, written uh, in the uh, ip okay so it will uh, go to that address okay it will be very clear in one of the slides uh, in the slides which is going to come ahead okay so uh, just hold on I'll, I'll i'll explain that clearly again once more okay so these are the programs which uh, you will have to do it uh, yourself uh, you will have to move uh, al you have to have you'll have to demonstrate this uh, doing it okay in, in the next lab okay uh, you will write this code and demonstrate it okay you 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 can save this uh, data uh, this program you just have to run and show okay uh, after doing that and uh, add al and um, bl and then you'll have to verify if the what are the data in al after doing this uh, uh, operation i'll show you how to verify this in the sample code and you'll have to verify if the carry flag is set okay in the second uh, program there is no carry generated so there are two different values which is given so uh, you will add that and then you will uh, just verify that the carry flag is not generated and what are the uh, output if the output result is available in al or not okay so these are the two runs which you will do it of your own uh, uh, similarly okay uh, this is again using registers and immediate data this is an uh, like here uh, you are moving uh, al and add al and an hexadecimal so you are not specifying a register here so this is known as immediate data so you are directly going to uh, uh, add the, the contents of al with hexadecimal number 02 it will add these two numbers okay if al is 01 and if you are adding 02 the answer will be stored 03 in al okay and the carry flag will be set to uh, is is going to be zero because there is no carry here so these things you will have to verify okay uh, and and then using register and memory okay uh, uh, in this what we are going to do is if you see uh, in in al you are going to move some data then you are going to add uh, this and then after uh, having done that you are going to move the contents of al to a memory location so you are going to specify one two three four now this is the memory location right 
so but uh, you are going to move the contents of al into this memory location but this is only a 16 bit data 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 is only a 16 bit data so uh, how so how will the microprocessor compute and which location it should go because it requires a 20 bit uh, uh, physical address right so it's a uh, because it is an 1 mb uh, address capability so you will require 20 bits so it whatever is the contents of ds okay by default in in, in the emulator in in ds it is 07 right so uh, so uh, 070 so it will compute using this formula it will you know, into 10 plus whatever is here okay this is the physical address is uh, computed by using ds into 10 whatever is the contents of ds in this case uh, it is 70 uh, what is stored in the ds so it becomes 700 now here like this it's becomes 700 hexadecimal okay and then it will uh, add this 1 2 3 4 so you will get 0 8 2 3 4 so in this particular location the contents of el will be pushed okay so uh, when it comes to the earlier doubt uh, which uh, uh, raghav had uh, where uh, what is orig so uh, similarly uh, when we write orig 100 it will actually uh, load 100 into the ip uh, pointer and compute the uh, it is the starting address of the uh, program okay uh, orig 100 that means the as soon as the microprocessor is uh, switched on it will go to the location 100 and 100 stands for 0100 and that is only this 4 bit data along with that okay uh, there will be uh, one more code uh, uh, something into 100 plus uh, 100 here something into 10 okay that something will be uh, available f in the code segment no, this is the data segment because we are moving data so whatever is the contents in the uh, code segment into 10 plus that uh, origin we have declared it as uh, uh, 100 so 0100 so that is how uh, if the microprocessor goes to that particular uh, location okay it, it i'm i'm sure and you you will not understand everything about that uh, right now because uh, theory is not yet covered i'm just giving a rough idea okay uh, but a uh, time being we start by doing these small programs uh, so uh, you you will uh, by doing this you will understand few things and when it gets in covered in the class it will be absolutely clear to you okay uh, and then the last program which you will uh, run is uh, adc okay uh, uh, instead of uh, uh, add you write adc when we, you write adc what it does is uh, it adds these two data and also the carry which was generated what is there in the carry flag in, uh, from the previous operation so that means it, it, it adds the carry also it takes the carry from the previous uh, stage also so these are the uh, five runs which uh, you need to do so uh, once i do the demonstration uh, once you uh, go through these things now it will be very clear to you so i'll uh, share this pdf with you all so let me go to the uh, uh, demonstration thing okay uh, this is the uh, startup icon which you will get uh, once you do the emulator so uh, you will get this so you uh, it will ask or please enter the registration key okay uh, don't do anything right now so dot com template so we're going to use the dot th these we are not going to use right now so uh, we do the dot com so it will open up an uh, window like this right we maximize it and it says origin 100 we need to uh, write the code here so uh, let me just go and uh, copy this code out here okay I i'm going to uh, copy the uh, code here so i'm going to write the code here and then uh, we got to do the um, emulation right so once you do the emulation you will get these two uh, windows out here like this right so i'll explain you uh, what is it right so uh, now uh, if you see uh, it says 07100 so this is the uh, uh, memory uh, uh, location right okay so this is the first memory location in which what is the uh, information available it is written as uh, b9 
ओके हेक्सा डेसिमल बी नाइन ओके बी नाइन एंड देन इट इज रिटर्न एस जीरो 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 राइट इट मी व्हाट इज व्हाट डज इट मीन इज सिंस यू हैव रिटर्न द कोड राइट मूव सी एक्स जीरो 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 ओके मूव सी एक्स इन इन द कंपाइलर वंस वी कंपाइल इट मूव सी एक्स स्टैंड्स फॉर बी नाइन ओके दैट आल्सो वी विल लर्न इट सब्सिक्वेंटली इन द क्लास यू डोंट हैव टू डू एनीथिंग राइट नाउ आई एम जस्ट एक्सप्लेन यू व्हाट इट इज ओके सो मूव जी एक्स मीन्स बी नाइन जीरो 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 इज गिवन हियर सो दिस सो दिस पर्टिकुलर इंस्ट्रक्शन हैज कंज्यूम्ड Three memory locations, eight-bit memory locations. Is it clear to all of you? What is this? Okay, this is the code which we have written here. Okay, these are the memory locations. And and why did this come as zero seven zero one one zero? Because in the data segment, it is by default it is uh, one address is zero seven zero zero which is fed here, and we have written origin hundred. So it has computed the physical memory. Okay, uh, this is an five-bit uh, data, five-bit into four, right? Hexadecimal number. So this corresponds to an twenty-bit. Uh, so this is the address location. So in this address location, okay, there. Are, so this particular code requires three memory spaces. Okay, so these are the three memory spaces. So you have written gx this data. So uh, uh, move cx, right? So move move. stands for move cx stands for b9 okay move cx that we will see subsequently uh, how this move cx is you uh, know b9 okay so this is the exercise these are the true two numbers and if you see these are the initial uh, status of all the you uh, know registers okay here so then we do the single uh, step right yeah is everybody clear with uh, if you have got any doubt uh, please ask me okay because uh, later on Uh, it it is better ki you stop me whenever you don't understand anything okay so uh, uh, sir can yeah. you repeat this once again yeah uh, the move cx yeah. yeah see this is the code which we have written move cx okay and 000 what we want to do is in the cx register we want to put 0000 uh, is the data which we want to write okay move cx okay is an assembly language right but we have but in the machine language okay move cx stands for b9 okay is it understood that we will yes sir, yes sir. we will learn that you know uh, how to write a machine language subsequently in the class okay so move okay. b9 stands for the microprocessor once you write b9 the microprocessor will it see the microprocessor will be initialized to 07100 it will go there it will read the three location okay uh, information b9 okay it will understand okay some data b9 means some data is requires to be moved to cx it will understand it will decode it so accordingly it will do the an uh, action and then uh, it will also understand okay it some data is requires to be moved so what are the data it will access the next two memory locations and get those two data okay is it clear Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Clear. Oh, okay. Thank you. So, uh, so when then we uh, press this single step. Okay, when we can uh, run it completely, it will finish the program in one line. But uh, to understand, we need to do it as a single step. When we do this single step, this instruction has already been executed. And if you see in uh, C X, it is zero 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 zero. So initially also it is zero zero zero. So you may not see any uh, change out here. But this instruction has already been. Uh, executed okay then the next thing, uh, instructions what we are going to give is uh, ax 01234 that means we got to so so move ax corresponds to b8 okay in the machine language so in the next memory location okay uh, we have uh, you will find the data what is available is an uh, uh, b b8 okay uh, i am not able to see clearly it's written so so you can just read it okay or whatever it's it could be b7 also it's b8 so in the b8 in the next memory location this is the command which is written ax stands for b8 and 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 in the next two memory locations it is written 3 4 and then 1 2 okay so this is very very uh, typical of 8086 and uh, processor architecture so in the lower bit okay you are writing the uh, uh, 
in the, the this lsb and and then in the next bit you are writing the uh, uh, msb right okay so uh, it is written first 3 4 uh, and and then it is written as uh, no, uh, 1 8 okay so uh, this is how it is written here so this is typical of that so we'll uh, learn the logic why it's written like this uh, in the theory classes so this is how the next instruction is written in the three uh, uh, mem uh, memory locations okay so uh, not that every instruction need not be written in three memory locations so it will be like some instructions may take more than three uh, memory locations also depending on uh, how the assembly language is transformed to the machine uh, language right so there will be some many instructions that we will see that it will take four five six right right these are only uh, plain and simple uh, minimum will be uh, three uh, i guess there are some instructions which will take only uh, two memory space also so these are the simple instruction which will take three memory space so it is taken in a three memory spaces and this instruction is done here okay you don't have to uh, uh, um, verify all these things no? you just have to visualize these things right now so uh, slowly slowly as the theory gets covered these things will be uh, clear to you okay when i do the next uh, it goes to the next so if you see in the ax register one two three four is uh, come here can you see that right so because this instruction has been executed already so you have one two three four coming into uh, uh, al right so and then uh, similarly uh, uh, next command is bx and 0100 so so for bx uh, uh, it is bb uh, the uh, uh, the machine language code for move bx for move bx together it is bb right and then the data in the next two locations it is the data whatever is it so uh, i do that so i find this data which has come into b also the next command is add if i press next one okay so the contents of uh, ax has now been modified by whatever was there previously in ax and bx so you can see the contents of these being now modified okay now uh, also uh, you can see this uh, ip that is the instruction pointer right now let me uh, reload it okay uh, uh, initially the uh, uh, instruction pointer was at 01000 orig okay that that it, it was at uh, at this point when i do the single thing because it was an uh, three instruction it will automatically come to 0103 right the instruction pointer this command because it, it has jumped three places because this instruction is of three uh, byte right so now similarly if it is a four if it were a four bit instruction this instruction pointer would have come to 1004 so it will always point towards the next instruction it will tell the microprocessor where is the next instruction to be fetched from so and this is the purpose of the instruction pointer okay now also uh, you can uh, while you are doing this let me uh, if i do this it, it it will do it will say it has come to uh, halt after doing the entire operation after having done that we can go to uh, view and we can see the uh, flags okay so these are the uh, various uh, flags so you have to verify if the carry flag is there zero flag okay sign flag sign flag means whether it, the first bit is a zero or a one if it's a zero it's a post it indicates it's a positive number or if it's a one it's negative okay so uh, these are the uh, other flags also parity flag auxiliary carry flag uh, i think we discussed in tutorial auxiliary flag and these are the uh, various uh, flags so uh, we'll under uh, time being we just have to uh, see whether there is a carry flag or not for this lab access is it okay so uh, have you understood the operation of this simulator completely okay we just have to write the code and verify uh, no, what in what memory location what data is going uh, once we do uh, no, is the uh, as per the code is the data coming to these uh, registers or not okay so uh, i will No, okay, I, I'll give you uh, one more example so that uh, you don't face any problems. Uh, okay, let me do this.
right uh, uh, here we have done this in in the last uh, code what we have done is move 1 2 3 4 the contents of al was to be uh, moved to this memory uh, location okay so uh, i run this completely now uh, i'll have to the final answer uh, has gone into uh, that memory location right so uh, what i can do is Okay, uh, uh, you can type that this 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. This actually stands for 0, 8, 2, 3, 4. If you see this value in this particular register is now 3 because you have, uh, if you see the command, uh, uh, we have uh, added uh, 1 and 2, the value of 1 and 2. So, the uh, in, in AX it was 3 here. So, that 3 uh, was there available there and then we did the move command so when we uh, write from move we move to this particular memory location 1 2 3 4 right so 1 2 3 4 has been computed like i explained it at, at 0 8 1 2 3 4 so that 3 from a has come here right when we do the move command uh, whatever was there in the source that remains so whatever was there in a also will remain like that it is gone even the uh, mem uh, we have written move 1 2 3 4 from ax so whatever is there in ax that will remain as such and and in memory location also this 0003 uh, has come in here okay so uh, so this is how you will do all those uh, four runs uh, i am sure you will not face any problems but in case uh, you have any problems uh, in understanding the code or uh, running this simulator you are free to uh, mail me okay so i'll accordingly uh, revert back to you so uh, uh, i hope this is clear so that's all uh, for today